Today I'll be talking about immigration and border checkpoints. I think it's important to start with what a checkpoint is and what they're used for. Um, a checkpoint is a means to investigating a large number of people, they, and they don't require a warrant or probable cause. They're different than an inspection, which targets a particular home or business, and they possess some kind of randomness to them. Like, every person could be stopped, or every, say, eighth person or fifth person could be stopped at the checkpoint. Border checkpoints. An important case for border checkpoints is Carroll v. United States, um, which says that brief detentions are permissible. Um, they found this because of national security. Um, checkpoints on the U.S., uh, on U.S. waterways, highways, and international airports are also allowed. Um, cases like um, United States v. Lopez, which was the first case to confront the constitutionality of airport checkpoints, and Illinois v. Andres um, was another case um, concerning um, checkpoints at airports. Um, in places like California, checkpoints could be as far as 90 miles north of the Mexican border. Um, and immigration checkpoints. An important case for immigration checkpoints is United States versus Martinez Huerte, which found that immigration checkpoints are legal for the purpose of discovering illegal aliens. Uh, the court's justification for this was that um, stops at checkpoints were a lot less intrusive than home searches, and were just asking um, what their residents were. Um, also, a motorist could avoid the checkpoint, and with heavy traffic um, in the areas around the border and where the checkpoints occur, um, it is less likely that there would be individual suspicion on a particular person. Um, the location of the checkpoints isn't decided by the officers conducting them. It's, con it's decided by higher-ups in the police department who are not there at the checkpoint. Um, probable cause is not needed. Because if probable cause was necessary, it, would, it wouldn't be any deterrent to possible um, smuggling operations that are well disguised, that you wouldn't be able to tell um, what they were doing without them. And um, officers still need justification to search bags and other personal items that someone would have. And that's everything I wanted to talk about. Thank you.